Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So today's video, I wanted to cover this uh, cool new library that was actually recommended to me by this user right here. And he wanted to know how to work with uh, native base and introduction and just getting it all started. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video in this series, especially is we're gonna be uh, learning about how to uh, first install native base and how to work with its components, how to work with the theme provider, and uh, talk about some of the cool intricacies of this library. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first cool thing about this library is that it's actually built consistent upon Android, iOS, and web. So that means that it can work on all three devices. So if you have a mobile device, if you have a tablet, and if you have a desktop, it can work on any single one of them. Now, the thing about this library is that in React Native, uh, what we covered in our last course, is that you would have to use views, and all of the components provided to you from React Native. Uh, but now you already know that uh, those components aren't equivalent to the same thing that you would have in regular React with div tags and h1s and all that sort of, and all those sort of tags. Well, in native base, you actually have um, a certain set of tags that you would have to use to be able to allow you to be able to work in all three different uh, devices. Uh, you have boxes and text and all that sort of stuff and we'll cover um, what all those means but here's an example of what that would look like so in this section right here you have what this simple card would look like on a mobile what it would look like in a tablet and what it would look like in a desktop now for the purposes of this course we're actually going to be focused only mainly on react native so we're going to be designing only for ios and android um, and we're going to work with uh, we're going to learn how to work with the native base in those devices how to install it and just to get our hands dirty with it. So now let's go ahead and actually talk about how to install this in a React Native app. All right, so to install Native Base on a React Native app is a little bit of a mess. Uh, let me show you why. So if we go to the docs and once it's loaded, we go into the uh, installation portion. It's gonna ask us for four different options. So we can install this in an Expo project, in a React Native project, in an XJS project, or a regular React app. In our case, we're gonna be selecting react native and most people if they're starting a new project they would just go ahead and copy this and then they would put it into their vs code and they would just run it and the problem with this is that it's actually a little bit out of date um, and also the typescript one too so when you install it you're going to notice a couple of dependencies out of issue and you're going to have to update them and then there's like a whole mess with everything and if we're if ideally what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it into an existing project so if you already have a React Native app and you're just following along with this installation process, this is the video for you. If you don't have a React Native project either, uh, the same thing's gonna apply here too. So go ahead and open up your VS Code or really whatever you're coding into. And what you're gonna wanna do is inside of the terminal, you're gonna wanna create a React app. So what I'm gonna do is npx react-native init and we'll call this native base uh, course like so. Now, if you don't know how to set up React Native on your Mac or Windows device, I have left links in the description down below to my React Native course, where I talk about how to install all that sort of stuff, and also how to make a small little application. All right, perfect, so now it's done. Now, if we go back to the documentation, it's gonna tell you to install uh, this code right here. It's gonna install Native Base, React Native SVG, and React Native Safe Area Context. And that's not what we want to do is actually uh, what's going to happen is if you were to put this into your term terminal, it's going to error out. It's going to say uh, your React Native is not up to date or something like that. Uh, well, to bypass that and to fix that issue is uh, first, we're going to go ahead and CD into the project. And once you've CD'd or opened up your project, what you're going to do is go into your package JSON. And within your dependencies right here, you're going to add something manually. You're going to do react-dom. And this is going to be 18.0.0 .0. and now we're going to do npm i let that run its magic and once that's done now we can actually go ahead and um, install this snippet of code so now i can go ahead and copy this go into my vs code and paste it and it'll work perfectly fine all right so now we see we have three high severity vulnerabilities the way that we can fix that is just do npm audit fix dash dash force and they'll fix all the other issues that are underlying and now if you were to actually do uh, npm start and i'm going to split this up and we'll do npx 
react-native run Android. It actually installed the app perfectly fine and there were no errors or any sort of vulnerabilities that were left over. If we were to just go ahead and uh, use that command uh, with that template, then there would be a whole lot of problems that we'd have to fix manually. This way it bypasses all the issues and you have a clean app with React Native, sorry, Native Base. Um, so now we want to make sure that uh, Native Base is working in our app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, well, most of the stuff right here. So this template code is made with TypeScript, even though it's JavaScript. Um, so let's go ahead and clean most of this stuff out. We don't need this section either. Let me add a space there. And let's get rid of all this content. We don't need any of it. Um, let's clean out this background style. We're not going to use light mode or dark mode. Let's get rid of all of this stuff right here, like show. And let's get rid of this too. So now we're basically at a uh, naked app. And uh, what we're going to do is we need to provide um, something called a native base provider. This is going to allow our entire app to be able to run native base and all of its components, its theme provider, and all this sort of stuff. So inside of the return right here, I want to do native base provider. And inside of here, I'm going to put in a simple button that comes straight out of uh, native base. And within the actual text, I'll just type in here, click me. And just so we know that this is a little bit different than a regular button, I'll do variant is equal to um, outline. So this will make a button that's just outlined. And on press, we'll just do a simple console log. So let's do um, console.log hello. And so now if we save it, refresh it, let me clean it up a little bit. It should show us the button, click me right there. It's an outline button. And we can compare this to a regular button. And the way that we're going to do that is we'll just go and manually import it. So underneath this import, we'll do import curly braces. Apparently, these are called curly braces. One of my viewers told me. So thank you so much for all that help. Uh, we'll do button as, uh, let's call it reg button. And we'll import it from React Native, like so. And the way that we're going to use this is going to be pretty simple. So underneath this button, we'll do reg button with a self-closing brace like so. Inside of here, we'll give it a title and we'll call it click me. And now if we save it, we'll actually see two different buttons. So this one is the native base button and this is the regular button right here. So you can see that there is a definite difference. All right, so that concludes this video. Uh, we learned the introduction of native base, what it is and why it's so cool. And we also learned how to install it in a React Native app. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to work with navigation. It's pretty much the same thing, but uh, it's worth the video um, on how to do it with native base, especially. And after that, we'll be going through each component and learning how to work with that. So stay tuned. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.